There's a quote by Abraham Lincoln which says, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'm going to spend the first four hours sharpening my knives. That was his quote. I would like to take it a step forward and say that if you give me six hours to fell a tree, of course, I'm going to spend the first four hours sharpening my axe, but then it has to be at the right place. Under the able guidance of the right educators, the right mentors, the right guides, with the right kind of techniques, and of course, with an overall great strategy, so that I don't end up wasting my time and I get the right result. Doesn't this all sound like cat? I mean, for a two hour exam, 40 minutes given for each section, isn't this what we all do? We prepare the whole year through, sometimes eight months, nine months, 10 months, right? And then if by mistake, we select the wrong platform, the right place, sorry, the wrong place, the wrong educators, we goof up. And then all our hopes are dashed. We don't get a great score. Now, this is exactly where my point comes in. In order to fell that tree, you need the right techniques. You need the right place. You need the right educators. You need me. And you need an academy. Hey guys, I'm Shabana Shahab, your educator for VARC. Your specialist, in fact. I take the liberty of calling myself a specialist because I have been tutoring cat aspirants for more than 13 years now. And I feel I have got a firm finger on the pulse of cat VARC. So if you join the platform, make a beeline to my classroom. I'm going to help you crack VARC with a great percentile. And I'm going to show you some mind boggling strategies. You would have never imagined that VARC, learning VARC can be so much fun. It can be so enlightening because people generally take VARC as a, as a drudgery. They feel, oh, VARC is our week. Hai. And chodo, kisi nikalna hai. I'm going to show you a different picture. So guys, join the platform. And of course, I'm going to prove my point to you right now. How being on the right platform with the right educators matters a lot. Like from, from here, let's take this point. Uh, learn all the good techniques and select the best questions. So let's say CAT 2021. There's a student, X. He took the test. Now, in VARC, there were some new types of questions, some interesting questions, challenging questions. And that student X did not know the right techniques for those questions. So what happened was he scored something like 27 to 28 marks and then he stopped in VARC. Well, had he known the techniques, how to handle those specific questions? Had he been with me for a few days, I'm sure he would have been able to jack up his score by at least 9 or 10 points, which would have taken him coolly to that 99 percentile bracket. So I hope you understand my point. And I'm going to take you forward and show you what exactly I mean. Guys, here on Unacademy, it's like you get everything. It's the one-stop solution for you. You have live classes. You have some free classes. It's kind of window shopping. You can join there and then you can just kind of understand how the educators train you, after which you can take the subscription and join the platform. We have this 99 percentile club, which is going to be there, of course, as an additional feature. It's going to help you solve uh, a lot of questions. It's going to give you practice with PYQs and it's going to give you some really great techniques and strategies. So, and of course, here is a list of just a few of our students, just as a kind of testimony to what we do on Academy. Without further ado, let me take you over to something which will prove my point. Now, CAT 2021. This, this is a passage directly taken from there. So if you see this passage talks about something like entropy, the maximum accuracy of a clock is directly related to how much disorder or entropy. Entropy. The dictionary meaning of entropy is chaos, disorder, something which is kind of spent. You don't get it. It's spent. It's used up, right? So, achha, the passage is about this. I'll take you straight to the question, the interesting, challenging questions that I have been talking about. Now, there, there are four to five paragraphs. If we take a look over here, 
I'll show you this. We have electric current, heat, quantum effects. What kind of a question is this? Dekhne se kuch familiar type ka lag raha hai, nahi lag raha hai, we don't know. Okay. So the question says, which one of the following sets of words and phrases serves best as keywords of the passage? Now, here I would like to tell you something. Yes. Sometimes you get this question in a different way. Which one of the following sets of words and phrases serves best as the keywords of the passage? This means they are looking for the crux, the essence. Okay. And sometimes you get it in a way which says, which of the following sets of words and phrases give you the best flow? So then in that case, you're looking for a consistency you're looking for the flow you have to connect the first paragraph the next paragraph the next paragraph and the last paragraph and you have to see the flow now first things first the student has to understand that in this case he's simply asking for the essence the crux why because he says keywords let's say the student doesn't know this so what he's going to do is he's just going to take the flow and pala paragraph me tha, second paragraph me tha, third paragraph me tha, okay, I get my answer. And it can be membrane, arrow of time, entropy also. It can be silicon, nitride, energy. All the words have been taken from the passage. But then he's going to get the answer. Why? Because he did not understand that this is asking you for simply the crux, the essence. Now, I'll take you back to the passage. How do we understand the crux, the essence of the passage? We take it from the first paragraph especially the first four lines and then we check the last two three lines of that paragraph okay this is the portion the relevant portion and then we go over to the last bit of the passage let's see what it says over here keeping time accurately comes with a price oh the first line itself tells me something comes with a price means okay you're going to maintain accurate time but then to pay karna padega. the maximum accuracy of a clock is directly related to how much disorder or entropy it creates every time it ticks. So even if you don't know the meaning of entropy from the dictionary, you see it's given here disorder or entropy it creates every time. That's the price you're paying. And it's directly related to your the maximum accuracy. So uh, what he's trying to say is the more accurate, the more entropy. So that's why you're paying a price. Okay. Now after that, this portion can be skimmed because this is all data. Then we come down a little bit and we skim. If a clock is more accurate, you're paying for it somehow. You're paying for it by pouring more ordered energy into the clock, which is converted into entropy. And this contributes somehow negatively to the environment. By measuring time, we are increasing the entropy. The more entropy, the closer it may be to eventual demise. Uh oh, Mr. Author, he's talking negative about entropy. I get this much, right? And then we go down the scale of the additional entropy is so small. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I go over to the last bit and I see how he ends his paragraph, his passage. This finding could also help us understand more generally how the quantum world, classical world, similar thermodynamics. Okay. Now, I'll teach you something nice over here. Even if you're not able to come up with the exact meaning of this particular author, I mean, you're, you're not able to understand what he's trying to say, at least try to come up with the keywords. So we understand timekeeping, accuracy, Entropy, uh, demise of the universe, and from here, thermodynamics and quantum. We get these points. So after that, if I take you over to the crux question, let's take a look here. Electric current, heat, quantum effects. No, 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 no. We need entropy for sure. So I can eliminate this and this. This is called process of elimination. And this works wonders when we are solving our RC passages. You'll get to learn this in detail when you join my classes. Then we come to measuring time, accuracy, entropy, membrane, arrow of time, entropy. Now, I'm not saying that option four is not there in the passage. It is given there. But the thing is, the essence, the crux, based on what we read just now, we get this, measuring time, accuracy, and entropy. So this has to be your answer. I hope it's clear. I'll take you over to another question. I found this question very, very nice because it was something different. Let's see what this is. It's a bit like fuel use, fuel use in a car. Just because I'm using more fuel doesn't mean that I'm going faster or further. What is the purpose of this example? Now, 
it's not the first time that cat gave theory example questions but then giving a whole sentence taking that analogy and then connecting it with theory example i'll tell you what it means see analogy is what just like i'm sitting over here and teaching you telling you how to come up with your rc answers similarly in another planet or somewhere so you know when you compare one situation with situation with another that's called an analogy your situation is analogous to that okay so here he compares fuel wala thing with clock and entropy that is analogy and then he connects it with theory example so what happens in theory example is what is the purpose of this example whenever you see such a question you should know that you have to go back to that paragraph from where it has been taken and more important than that example itself is the theory that precedes it and the conclusion that succeeds it i'll show you what i mean so let's pick this sentence from here it's a bit like fuel use you fuel use in a car just because i'm using okay let's go back and see where he has mentioned this okay uh yeah it's here we can see this here now this is a separate paragraph so in order to come up with his idea or what he's trying to highlight i need not focus on the example too much i need to go a little up i need to read the introduction of that paragraph and then the conclusion also so he says the relationship that the research researchers found is a limit on the accuracy of a clock we know that he's talking about uh, entropy being detrimental right so it doesn't mean that a clock that creates the most possible entropy would be accurate maximally ma maximally accurate so what he's saying is let's say there's a grandfather clock it's a big clock so if it is creating the most possible entropy it doesn't mean that it is the most efficient clock this is what he says and then he brings in an analogy he says hence a large inefficient, inefficient grandfather clock isn't more precise than an atomic clock it's a bit like fuel use in a car just because i'm using more fuel doesn't mean that i'm going faster or further or my speed is better okay so i take you over to the question now and we start eliminating we know that it is related to analogy and it is theory example fine it's a combination of the two once the student is able to identify this type of question and he knows the technique that goes into it process of elim elimination will be a walk in the park for him so let's see now i'll pick the smallest one if you measure the speed of a car with a grandfather clock the result will be different uh, with an atomic clock no i need entropy i need fuel i need analogy so on that basis i can eliminate c very easily and then i can eliminate b very easily the further you go in a car the more fuel you use in the same way the faster the less no now between a and d let's check the options if you go faster in a car you will tend to consume more fuel okay fine but the converse is not necessarily true let me get this clear that means if you are consuming more fuel it's not necessary that your speed is more isn't that what he said in the paragraph yeah yeah yes and then he brings in this comparison in the same way increased entropy does not necessarily mean greater accuracy of a clock so yes this sounds good let me take a look at option 4 now the further and faster you go in a car the greater the amount of fuel you will use the greater the amount of heat produced and hence the greater okay this is a close second it looks fine but then ye wo wala case hai bulati hai jaane ka nahi why because in this case he's bringing in the analogy the comparison as well as the theory example thing so he gave the example just to prove that if entropy is there it's not necessary that accuracy is maximum right so that's why we get answer one from here trust me once you go to the techniques in detail you will be able to eliminate in a jiffy everything starts looking clear to you uh i'll show you one more question so we did these two uh, these two questions from that passage and then in that same sitting there was one more question which was on x men that was a very interesting topic uh the paragraph says back in the early 2000s an awesome thing happened in the new x men okay we'll come back to the main idea a little later let's check the question that i'm trying to highlight 
Which one of the following scenarios if false? Oh, bhai. This was a great question. And you know what? Since 2017, CAT started giving you if true, if false, like critical reasoning wala questions as part of RC. Then CAT saw, oh, the educators, especially the educators on an academy are able to crack those questions and help their students see light. Let's twist it further. So CAT ne kya kya? Ab isko if false kar diya and the student is like totally dazzled by if true to pata tha. Wo as it is, if true was a big pain. If false kya hota hai? So now what happens is an academy educators again come into the picture. Shabana Shah comes and she says, yes, yes, I'll help you crack it. Wait. Now let me tell you what this exactly means. Which one of the following scenarios, if true hota tha? If you see if false. See that you have to just invert it. Theke? If false ko you're going to put if true. And here supporting ko you're going to put we can. Just do the ulta. And you get a normal looking question. So what are we going to do in this? Weakening the passage. W-T-A. I'll write over here. This becomes so easy now, right? Okay. Now I'll take you back to the passage. And I'll show you the main idea. So here he says back in the early 2000s, an awesome thing happened in the new X-Men comics. Who doesn't know about X-Men comics? Uh, characters are that are fantastical, right? Our mutant heroes, mutant kya hota hai? Change with a little bit of mutation, had been battling giant robots called sentinels for years, but suddenly these mechanical over overlords spawned a new threat. There's a colon here. Remember this technique. Chote chote techniques in my class mein aapko milenge. And these will really help you see a passage in a new light. So ye colon jaha pe hota hai na, that's a pressure point. You need to understand waha pe aapko pause karke thik se padna hai. Nano sentinels. Oh, so what are nano? Nano. Nano. Seconds, nanoseconds, zepta seconds. So nano is very small, right? Nano gadi aayi thi, very small. So nano sentinels. What are these sentinels supposed to do? Sentinel is what? Uh, soldier kind, warrior. Not content to rule earth with their metal fist, these tiny robots invaded our bodies. Andar chale gai. At the microscopic level, infected humans were slowly converted into machines cell by cell. So because they went inside the body. Now, we understand that the whole passage is going to talk about nano sentinels, but not related to X-Men necessarily. L let's check the next line. Now a new wave of extremely odd robots. Okay, now, aaj kal kya ho raha hai? Okay, nano sentinel story come true. So that was a story, fantastical story. Now he's saying these days nano sentinels are there everywhere. They're popping up and they are going to be there in our bodies because he's connecting with the main idea, the top part. All right, so I read the first line of the second paragraph and I get an idea. Oh, okay, this is what he's going to say. Take it. Robots are going to be there everywhere, but the nano kinds. Then, unlike a traditional robot, which is made of mechanical parts, these new kinds are made from molecular. Okay, another technique for you over here. The first line of every paragraph is crucial. You need to read it, retain it, chew it, digest it. Okay, so these new kinds are made from molecular parts. So we are talking about some new kinds of robots, not the conventional types, right? Okay, the next paragraph and the first line. Sometimes these materials are used to enhance more conventional robots. Okay, and then all data. I can skim easily. Go over to the last bit. Now he says robots are wholly or partly made of gloop. Aren't the future that I was promised, but it's the future I want. So we understand the author is all in for these robots the nano sentinels and then what's the use of these so he says okay especially keen on this swim through our bodies why would he want them to swim through our bodies Kuch to fayda karna hi hoga, right I understood this much i'm taking you over to this question now which one of the following scenarios if true could be seen as weakening the passage we have done the first step Ulta kar diya aapne. we have to weaken there's one more point that you need to understand here your weakening or strengthening could be related to the main idea or it could be related to random sentences. So if we take a look at the options, some hydrogels turn sticky. Robots made from smart materials, nano sentinels, two kinds of molecules. Uh -uh. These are random sentences taken from the passage and we have to simply see which one is false. I hope you're getting this guys. This, this is becoming more and more interesting for you, right? 
I mean, yeah, you're not going to apply that critical reasoning a technique we can strengthen. Why? Because this is not related to the main idea. This is related to random sentences. So in case this is related to random sentences, it simply becomes a true false question. And we know we have to weaken, so we are looking for the false sentence. That's easy as pie. Now let's check the options. Some hydrogel stun achameri agathe. Chota wala se pick karti. Robots made from smart materials are more likely to become part of our everyday lives. Ye to bola hi bola hai. This is true. The next one are likely to be used to inject people to convert them into robots. Really? I have my doubts. I'll keep this. Okay. There are two kinds of molecules made uh, used to make some nano robots. One that reacts positively to water negatively. I came across this. Still, I'll keep this. And the first one, some hydrogels turn sticky when an electric current is passed through them. This potentially, this is true. I remember this. So, I'm left with C and D. Now, I need to just go back and verify which one is true and which one is false. Which one is the answer? So, here option C looks pretty easy to me. Nano sentinel like robots are likely to be used to inject people to convert them into robots cell by cell. The first paragraph itself said, the last line of the first paragraph, these nano sentinels in these fantastical stories entered the human body and then they were converted. But that doesn't mean the author wants these robots to be there so that he can convert human beings into robots. No way. Even in the last paragraph, he has said that these robots are going to enter our bodies. They're going to swim in our bodies. But he, he has never once said, that it will convert us into robots. Uh, 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 uh. Right, guys? So after elimination, things start looking easier and C is indeed our answer for this. I hope these three questions have been eye-openers for you. Once you understand the techniques, the strategies, and you know, trust me, there are like so many of them, so many techniques. Bada technique, chota technique. Feathered technique, unfeathered technique. Mustache technique, unmustache technique. I mean, you just have to come over to my classroom. And then you will really realize that VARC is an absolute joy to read. So I look forward to meeting you more often on the platform, in my classroom. And yes, I promise I'll help you to the best of my ability. If you would like the session, you can just press the bell icon.